guys, me, host Super Sarah. Thank you very much for tuning in. And today we're going to talk about Totally Killer. Totally Killer was a brand new film that came out on Amazon Prime the other day, and it is actually a real scream. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. It is genuinely a good movie. Uh, as cheesy as that was to say, uh, it has got a decent cast to it, including Olivia Hull, uh, Julie Bowman, Randall Park. Uh, Charlie, uh, Char Charlie Giuseppe, um, Lachlan Monroe, and of course, uh, Kin and Shipka. It's got a great little cast to it. Um, all characters that you, all names that you'll have heard before, or seen in other movies at least, and it was produced by Blumhouse. With it being a Blumhouse movie, I did expect more horror elements to it than what we got. It did feel more like a spoof movie or a comedy sci fi uh, with a few horror elements thrown in. This felt very much in the vein of like a hot tub time machine kind of movie. It was a ridiculous over the top concept, which worked and was very, 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 very funny. The introduction of the new Sweet 16 killer um, and the whodunit idea is definitely a cool new play on that uh, slasher franchise. And with this being a comedy, it was a great great element um the only thing i see being a problem with this is that if they wanted to, to franchise this character which blumhouse liked to do you know given the halloween franchise they're clearly on do, doing the exorcist franchise now they've already done you know the conjuring movies sinister they like to make a series out of a film i don't think this has the legs for it if they'd have made a straight up film a bit more like scream then maybe the Sweet 16 Killer could definitely have been a future horror icon. However, with him being the comedy route with this, I don't feel this will be as popular in a sequel than the first film was. Same as how like Hot, like Hot Tub Time Machine 2 didn't work. The first film, great. Second film, not so much. <laughs> the Sweet 16 kill though did look pretty cool and I do love the, the mask and stuff I think that's a great concept and uh, we are going to go full spoiler in just a second I'll talk more in detail uh, but I, I did like the concept of the girl having to go back in time to save to, well to go to the time when her mother and her friends were being murdered one by one by a psycho killer in the 80s going back to the 80s as well gave it that nostalgia factor uh, that I think a lot of franchises are aiming for right now you know Ghostbusters Afterlife Stranger Things we're going down that 80s route again which has become very familiar now even it did it you know chapter three one or two of it uh so yeah we, we it's definitely trying to hit those nostalgia vibes whilst giving us something new to laugh and scream at the film itself was a great movie i do recommend it i think it was fun now on to the spoiler so if you don't want to watch spoilers if you don't want to hear any spoilers then um click away now i think that's them all gone so it's just me and you left that want to talk spoilers? <laughs> Let's do it. So, spoiler warning, here we go. Do, 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 do. The Sweet 16 Killer was a cool concept. I loved the fact that they had two different people as the killers in the movie. I like that. There was a guy from the past and a guy in the future. And it changed. So I like that concept. I like the fact that they did touch on whatever happens in the past affects the future. And they explained that a lot better than what some franchises do with the whole trickling downstream uh, conversation, that was quite easy to grasp. Whereas sometimes, you know, timey-wimey things uh, can be difficult. Whereas that made it quite a, an easy, easy flowing concept. I thought some of the jokes and gags were a little bit forced at times. Um, and, I, and dare I say, I think some of, some of the gore and horror elements could have been upped to make the movie a little bit more scary. I think they could have had a more horror element to this with it being a Blumhouse production. Most people were going into that movie expecting horror. and We kind of half got a horror. We Then it kind of felt like it was paying homage to a lot of horror movies and to uh, very much a lot to uh, back, back to the Future. Even down to the other you know, thing like she went back on October 27th. You know, October 15th. So it's, they were definitely paying homage there. And it is a cool little Halloween movie. Let's not forget this is set around Halloween. Not on Halloween night, but it's set around Halloween. So I do feel that this movie will get looked at in the future by people just for the Halloween element. Because people will watch it around Halloween time and it'll become part and parcel of, of the culture of watching that film around Halloween. So I do see, I don't see this going away anytime soon. 
Um, I do like the killer's mask. I do like where they went with that. And it would be fun to see that killer again. Do I recommend this movie? Yes. Is it a fun movie? Yes. Is there plenty of comedy elements as well as horror? Yes. I just wish they upped the horror slightly a bit more. But guys, what are your thoughts on Totally Killer? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review and want to see me do more movie reviews, then please let us know in the comments. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Supsaw, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, keep it creep. Bye! <laughs>